Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. So in the series of learning Python programming language, in the previous video we have seen one project that was Caesar Cipher, right? Until now in the series we have discussed something about functions as well, right? Like what is a function basic and function without argument and functions with argument, right? And then types of arguments like keyword, positional, arbitrary arguments, these things we have discussed. But till now we haven't discussed functions with return value. Right? Means a function is returning something to the caller. That thing we haven't discussed till now. Right? So this thing we'll be discussing in this video. Functions with return value. Right? Everything like how a function is going to return a value and how this a function will be returning multiple values as well. Right? Types of return statement like implicit return, explicit return. So everything about functions with return value we'll be discussing with the help of example and program practical also I'll show you right but before that I just want to tell you something to those who are interested to make their career in data science field first let me just show you something there's a salary calculator the link I'll put in the description box of this video once you click on that link this type of page would be opened and you just have to fill out your basic details like name education and professional details your work experience your knowledge in statistics and programming preferred work work location mail id phone number and you just have to submit then it will show a estimated salary you can earn based on the whatever you have entered based on your information right now if you are interested to make your career in data science field then Odin school is conducting a data science boot camp and it is a sixth month boot camp it is perfect for anyone who wants to access industry aligned education at a reasonable price the next cohort would be started from 24th of june and you can see the here the detail the price detail plus you can you can have, you can get a scholarship up to rupees 30,000. For that, you have to take a scholarship test. And they also have a offer for early board in which you'll get 10,000 off. And they're also providing you a no cost TMI option. And that's not it. It comes with proven placement report and 360 degree placement assistant. The placement support start from sixth month and will be available to you till 12th month. Don't just go with my words. You can check out their success stories, be it a career launch, career change, career growth, career transition, career gap. There are multiple success stories. You can check out the link I'll put in the description box of this video. You can check out these success stories as well. And you can contact these students on their LinkedIn profile. You can message them. You can contact them. And Odin School is having 500 plus hiring partners. Many top tech companies as well like Google, TCS, Capgemini, Deloitte and many more. So if you want to kickstart your career in data science, join Odin School today. Now how to apply for this bootcamp? You just have to... Click on the link that I'll put in the description box of this video, the registration link, this type of page would be opened and you just have to fill out your details, right? First name, last name, your year of graduation, work experience and all. And you just click on request a callback. Then Odin School team is going to call you back within two or three days. Now, if you have any doubt, you can clear your doubts and then after that you can pay the fee and enroll in the course, right? So all the relevant links and details you'll find in the description box of this video, you can go and check out. Now, let's see. Okay, as we know, function, if you have watched the previous videos in this series, functions, basically it's a block of code, right? Which is going to perform a specific task when it is executed, right? How to define a function? Simply def keyword. Here we are writing a function name. And if you want to pass some parameter, then also you can pass. 1, 2, 3, 4, as many parameters as you want. Then here we are having function body, the statements. This is what? definition of functions but this is not going to do anything to do something whatever you write here to execute that task to perform that task you have to call the function so two main things are there defining a function and calling a function so how to call a function simply function name whatever you write here and arguments right and this is function calling right simple definition and calling of the function right now, as many arguments as you want, you can pass here multiple type of argument like positional, keyword, arbitrary, this thing we have discussed till now, right? But see, let's take one example. If you are going to add two numbers, so how you will define a function def, and suppose function name is add, and suppose I'm call, calling this function add, and I'm passing two arguments, five and four. So two parameters, whatever you will write in these parentheses, in these brackets, while defining a function, those are known as parameters. While calling, whatever you will pass, those are known as arguments, right? So these are parameters, A and B, right? And A plus B and just print C. 
this is definition of function this is function calling right here this function is not returning anything if you want to return if you want that the function should return rather than just print then another thing what we can do rather than print we can write down return and what you want to return this c return c so now this function is going to return whatever is there in this variable in c c we are having a plus b means 5 plus 4 is 9 so it will return 9 right so this 9 while calling where it will return to the caller so here we are calling this function so at this this line would be replaced with 9 right now there is a value so to you have to accept this value in a variable maybe in a variable so here we can maybe something like we can take a variable output and there we can just print output or simply here also print add 5 and 4 that also you can do right so in general a function is going to accept some arguments if any argument it is not necessary that every function is going to accept some argument without argument function are also possible right if any then the function is going to return uh, sorry accept arguments process something based on those arguments or those parameters and return something or return a value where to the caller right so the value the function is going to return to the caller that is known as return value functions return value and all the functions are having return value right maybe it's explicit or implicit so two types of return values or return statements are there explicit and implicit that we'll be discussing in next video in detail right this video is all about just to get you familiar with the basic return statement so generally a return a statement is a special statement that we use inside a function see make this point inside a function only if outside a function anywhere you write return statement that will give syntax error so it is a special statement that we use inside a function here right and what is the syntax return keyword and here we use a return value whatever value you want to return but this thing is optional okay two things are there you can simply use return that's it with no return value or you can omit this complete statement do not write anything no return no return value in both the cases the function will return none this thing i'll show you in practical right but you have to you know be aware about these things you can write down any return value and this return value is any any objects in python we know everything is object so it can be a numeric value int float or complex value or any sequences or collection like list tuple set dictionary or any user defined functions module packages anything right or simple return also you can write or you can omit this complete statement as well right these many cases can be there with return statement okay now let's see this thing with the help of example or program okay so let's create a new file function with return value right let's take the very basic and simple example what addition so we are going to call a function addition and suppose i am passing like 5 and 4 okay so this is calling of function now before calling you have to define that function otherwise it will give error so def same function name add and we are passing two arguments so just take two parameters a and b and suppose i am writing c is equal to a plus b and here only i am not returning i am just printing c right so this is the very simple example let's run this see you get the output is 9 now if you don't want to print and i want to return this value so just return statement you have to use return this keyword and return value what you want to return c right now whatever you will return this return c means it will return 9 so this 9 it will return this value to the caller caller is this one so here it will replace this with 9 but we are not printing 9 here or we are not accepting that value in any variable so what output you will get c it will print nothing because we are not printing anything so one way is you can simply print here right 
so this this would be replaced with 9 right and it will print 9 so let us run this see now it will print 9 or other thing is what if you are not printing here you can simply like take a variable and just store that value in this result and you can print here result that will also give you same result that is 9. <clears throat> so, here we are returning something or rather than these two lines we can simply do what return a plus b that is also fine we are having now less uh, number of lines let us run this and this will also give you same result 9 right if rather than a plus b if I simply write here like I am writing c is equal to a plus b and just return nothing else right return but no return value we are providing so let us run this c in this case it is going to return none fine because we are we are using return statement and return value is nothing so it will pass here none in result we have none and we are going to print none if you completely omit this line we are not printing any we are not uh, writing this statement the, even the return keyword in that case also it will return none, none because this is what implicit return two types of return i have told you explicit plus implicit explicit means we are specifying the return statement implicit means by default if you are not specifying any return statement by default this python in python this function will return none implicitly so here also it will returning none right return c now it will work fine okay invalid syntax it's rn let's run this and see nine okay if other than we can use this return statement is the special statement we can use this within the definition of the function right if other than outside of the definition i am using return or c or maybe simply return so it will give syntax error c return outside function so we cannot use return statement outside a function this thing you need to take care so this is simple return a function with simple return value now one exercise for you is or you can say one quiz for you is suppose i am passing any line or suppose my name jenny khatri or jenty khatri lamba right and you have to convert that into title case title case means every word first letter would be capital and all other letters are small so let's write down this thing now we are suppose we are going to format our name so i am calling a function format name and there i am passing my name so first thing like jenny in capital and last name i am passing like khatri in all capital and jenny in all small so you need to format you need to convert this thing into title case right now title case means you can google this out like this jenny khatri the first letter of every word would be capital and all the other letters are small this is title case okay now define a function def and the function name is format name right and here we are i am passing two arguments so two variable two parameter first name last name right and there how to convert this thing we have a function inbuilt, inbuilt function title so we just use that thing so first name i want to convert into title case so how to convert the name of the variable first name dot title that's it same last name dot title so it will convert both these into title case okay now 
simply return or simply print rather than return first print print and suppose in formatted string I am printing first name comma last name right let's run this see okay it hasn't converted into in this because we are simply okay the names are same because we are simply what we are doing we are just printing f name and last name as it is okay after formatting after formatting this let's formatted f name save this in another variable formatted last name now what you need to print formatted f name comma formatted l name let us run this see now jenny j capital khatri k capital otherwise all the letters are small right let us remove this comma as well let us run this see jenny khatri this is title case okay now rather than printing just return so rather than print simply replace this with return and as it is we can write down that is fine f formatted name f formatted l name now here we are going to print so before this simply write down print this is one way let us run this and see jenny khatri right now if you are not going to print here just because we know whatever this function is going to return that is a string so you can take a variable name here like formatted name equal to that's it and in print we can simply print formatted name see jenny khatri right so i hope now you have some idea how the function with return value works how we can use this return statement just return keyword and return value whatever you want to return this return value can be anything numeric collection string or anything right different different variations on this return we will be discussing in later videos right so I hope you got how a function with return value works, right? Now a function can, can return multiple values as well. And a return statement can be, return can be of two types, implicit, explicit. And what is the difference between return and print? These things we'll be discussing in next video. So now we'll see the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.